um, everything has been put back on track. So um, we can just follow through. I, I hope this um, kind of answers your question. Hello, I'm done. Hello, Toga, are you there? Yeah, hi. Hello, David, are you listening to me? Yes, I'm listening yeah, yeah. to you. Uh, okay, I was just saying that uh, just wait for a couple of moments. Wait, Tolga, wait. All your answers will be, uh, you, all your questions will be answered. Just wait for the team to deliver, deliver first, okay? Just wait for them. Just wait for them to complete all their session. Then the house will be open for the question and answer from the community side. They haven't started yet, okay? Okay, David, uh, or the team from the D&D Metaverse, I welcome you to the Python Plays AMA. So can you please introduce yourself and the background and any previous projects that you have done and uh, what is basically D&D Metaverse and would, what, would you like, what would you like to tell us about it and how you feel about like and how it works basically? Okay, okay. So uh, uh, I guess um, I'm just going to, you know, go over um what i said earlier you know just for um, better understanding um can you hear me Hello? yeah 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 i can hear you all right all right so um um it's so great to be here you know uh i'm simon yeah, as you all know a member of, of um, the nd metaverse team uh, and I have with me here um, David and Bennett, who will be part of this AMA. So um, over the years, um, there has been this uh, desire, you know, um, for a reliable and long-term store value. So um, we decided, you know, to invest in a digital currency, uh, mainly because uh, unlike fiat money, you know, most cryptocurrencies have a limited supply. So um, this makes it uh, impossible for political bodies to, you know, dilute the value through uh, inflation and economic uh, instability. So uh, I hope this just briefly covers, you know, uh, scope of the end of the metaverse. Yeah. What is the... Uh... Hello. See the basic Hello, significance of D and D. Why is the name D and D for it? Okay. Um, D and D is the first gamified metaverse of the um, Wonderland. Do you understand that the Wonderland was built based on D two zero D three point five standard of dungeon and dragon metaverse. There are more than ten heroes you can recruit for adventure and with this done you can match on into the dnd world these heroes are including with six races we have human air elf gno Triton, and goblin um in prison in primitive times dragons posed the greatest threat to the magical world but a strong group of specially trained dragon slayers banded together to stand up against the onslaught. They were known as the Dragon Watchers. And they succeeded in their quest for confining the majority of dragons to sanctuaries, legend of the dragon slayers, and the illustration of a triumphant story of the very first dragon slayers who took battle and conquered. So um, this is just a brief on the concept of the um, DND Metaverse. That explains where it's coming from. So it's, it's just about the, the the dragon terrorizing a lot of people and these watchers who came on board to make sure that their ecstasy is attained and peace is also restored. So this is um, kind of the inspiration behind DND Metaverse um, coming up as a coin thereafter. Thank you so much. All right, are you there? 
Are you there? Simon, are you there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, I guess we have to um, wait a little. Okay. Just have to um, hold him until he's back with us. Okay, okay. That's fine. Okay, have the teams uh, done some previous projects? So do you have... Sorry? The Binance Smart Chain or any previous projects that the team has done? Sorry, um, could you come again? I was saying that uh, have you done any previous projects or has the team some history? Well, um, um, D and D metaverse is the first of its kind, and uh, and a lot of um, research has been done, you know, to ensure its success. So, um, basically, it's the first of its kind. Thank you. Can you elaborate about your tokenomics? What are the tokenomics going to be? How is the token designed to sustain the challenges that is faced that are faced around the Venet Smart Chain Network? Okay, okay. Um, um, well, we believe in long-term value, and uh, and have a great and we have uh, a great vision for the project. So um, um, we are sure this will be great and we keep moving forward uh, towards its success. Um, uh, meanwhile, our sustainable um, tokenomics system is, uh, is bull pixel uh, IC big data system uh, uh, just to um, you know, balance the inputs and outputs uh, of money. So um, we will take care of the market value with dynamic balance strategy you know furthermore uh, so, and um uh, and to answer the question of uh, the binance smart chain well uh, it is without reasonable doubt that uh and that the bsc amongst many other things uh, has the ability to you know bring information into a single report uh which can save time as well as money and uh, resources. So uh, it also allows, uh, you know, most uh, crypto-based companies to track their performance in service uh, and quality. So, uh, and and also this is done in addition to um, tracking their financial data. So um, thank you. Okay, so uh, you are uh, obviously at the beginning of the, your project and I wish you success and long journey ahead, of course. But what can you give me a brief overview of the roadmap and the achievements that you have already done and the uh, things that you have already put together for this? All right, um, that's great. Thank you so much for that question. Um, if I get you clearly, you're asking about um, the success of this, an overview and the success and achievement of our uh, of our token. Is that what you're asking? What is the roadmap going to be, and what are going to be the uh, you know the success that you have already made and the success that you look through? All right. Um, thank you so much. Um, D and D metaverse is a successful crypto, and un unlike any other crypto, supersedes in every way possible. Aside from being an ever-growing community and having been listed on major exchanges, it is without any reasonable doubt, in fact, that D and D is most intelligent, independent, and strategic of all the crypto, and this is aimed to build the biggest community and establish itself as the most used cryptocurrency ever. So to all and sundry, match on with the grand crypto and be set for a great time. Without doubt, be assured that there's still room for more. This is a reality you've always dreamed of right before 
DMD Metaverse is your perfect flight because we have what it takes to moon um, and we grant you the assurance that we are always winning. DMD Metaverse is already gaining spotlight presence in the cap market, in the, in the market generally and in the global world and it's fast rising. So um, everyone just get in, we are mooning for sure. Thank you so much. Yeah, uh, yeah, and in addition to what um, my colleague have said, uh, we have a well-planned and strategic roadmap, which began with the building of our team, uh, followed by the roadmap um, through the GameFi, the Lucky Wheel, and um, you know the effort tests. We are gallantly marching on through the process with intelligence. Uh, we are sure to hit the moon soon, so you guys should um, keep supporting. More updates will be dropping soon. Uh, good man, good man. That's cool. That's cool. Um, that's good to know. And uh, uh, more people are joining up now. So of course, this project, this is a beginning for you. And I'm very, uh, you know, uh, it's honorable to have you here, guys. Team from the Indie Metaverse. Of course, the thing that I like, especially, I uh, like about your community is that that is obviously that your contract is going to have the uh, anti well features, of course, but the contribution of the Binance Smart Chain BNB is very less, so a pre-sailor is not able to dump the coin. So that's a very good thing. And of course, you have lots of international communities. And I have seen this that this is not a one-day group. It the all the efforts have been put together since a long time. So it's a long journey that have been compiled together till this point, and so this makes the project a bit legitimate legitimate and uh, of course coming over to my next question what are your plans about the kyc and audit uh, because uh, are you going to go for an audit because uh, and uh, what are the uh, you know the powers of the contract developer that will be uh, you know the uh, the uh, uh, the uh, power of the contract developer that to what extent it can make changes to the contract because uh, these things they are basically they attract the uh, uh, you know the investors so uh, please could you like to answer this yeah sure uh we understand the needs of investors who want to be sure about the legitimacy of new projects i mean this has given us an opportunity to respond to this challenge um, by developing a strategy of implementing suitable know your customer kyc process in order to understand uh who our customers are and how they um, make use of our services. Just to be sure, um, you guys should know that we're not going to let you get down. And um, the project is really legitimate, and um, it deserves you guys' trust. All right. Um, just to add to what he has said already, I'll just put some touch up on the certainty and the insurance that. Um, our token has. Um, we are audited by Tech Audit. Our professionals have done an extensive analysis to verify every process, and we have great assurance that there is no there is no fraud. Also, we have the pro safety monitor system and curb any malicious activity or spam messages that may pose any threat to you, especially for those who intend to transfer his or her large amounts. We are committed to respond promptly against such. So um, there is great assurance for this token. So um, feel free, trust it, and uh, stay tuned. We will make sure this moons. All right, thank you so much. Thank you, Bernard. Yeah. Um, to the add to um, everything, um, just know, uh, our professionals have done everything they need to do, and uh, we have a plan, strategic plan uh, for any vulnerability that can arise. Uh, we're going to tackle it. It's a guaranteed system. Um, it's to ensure that everything goes as planned under any intended circumstances. So um, you guys should sit back, relax, and um, trust the process. We are going to the moon, guys. Okay, okay, but uh, obviously, uh, the all project owners, all the you know uh, project owners uh, say similar things. So, what are these special things? You know, 
how do you feel different from others? Because there are thousands of coins that are launched on the Binance Smart Chain. And being a part of this community, being a part of the leader, my question is that, that how, how does your project uh, makes it, uh, how is it special? What is the speciality in your project and how will you say that it is different? Okay, Simon, are you there? Okay, yeah, yeah. So, uh, uh, I think I'll, I'll, I'll respond to this um, question. So, um, that's a good question, by the way. So, uh, uh, it will interest you to know that our core team, you know, um, have done extensive uh, analysis and sorted out every loopholes, you know, uh, that might arise. So um, um, we therefore have a, a guaranteed system. So um, this will ensure that things go as intended under any circumstances. And uh, um, that's one of the reasons, you know, um, we try as much as possible to partners, um, to partner, you know, um, um, with uh, legit um, projects and organizations, you know, because um, um, for most projects who just, you know, from for most scam projects who are out there, they just, uh, they don't have any. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, we, we, yeah, 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 we can hear you, mate. Go ahead, go um, ahead. Yeah. So um, for most projects out there, um, most scam projects in this case, uh, um, you would notice that, uh, that a project is, uh, should I say scam? Um, if um, by the level of partnership they have. So the yeah. um, the Metaverse has, uh, has partnered with uh, legit organizations, you know, just to ensure that uh, the funds of the investors are, you know, safe. So, thank you. Hello. Yeah. So, so can we move on? Um, I hope this is um, fun. This is informative for everyone. Um, I hope you are tuned and you are also getting to know more about D and D metaverse. Um, this is a great time for every one of you. Please, we hope this is really exciting. Um, feel free, soon you'll be given opportunities to ask questions. Um, but for now, let's keep moving. Thank you so much. Oh, well, that's good to know. That's good to know. Okay, coming over to my next question. So, what are the you know the core partnerships that you will be taking around? Because your uh, BNB hard cap is spiked, it was the highest side. So, how do you plan to get it filled? And what are the future uh, you know brand partnerships that you will be going through? Because especially this will happen and this will help you guys in the longer run. So can you please list some of the partnerships of your project and you plan to be for active for more future partnerships? Yeah, um, certainly partners are very important to us and we do take them seriously. The product is very open for all to partner and invest. It's not just for Allied, but for all, and we are already gaining grants in the partnership area. It is fair for everyone. We also hope the game will bring fun and money to everyone who loves the Metaverse Gamify. So um, feel free to partner with us. We are open for partnership any day, any time. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. And by the way, um, we have um, three strategic partners. Uh which is uh, one is um, named OKEC. And um, we have two professional advisors from um, Asia and um, US. We got partners and uh, you guys should sit back and relax. This isn't the rug, trust us. Well, uh, well, 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 Python is, uh, you know, a partner to all those who are legitimate. And I hope that this continues like this and I will be open to you for all your future assignments and stuff and, you know, just I want legitimacy, and um, that's all. Python is a friend of those who pay back. Okay. Okay, sure, so sure. Uh, 
why why what is the basic purpose of choosing the binance smart chain why do you not prefer to launch on ethereum or you know uh, the AOX avalanche of uh, uh, the, the smart chain why 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 specifically the binance smart chain because are you also you also could go for a BUSD or USDT pay launch because that uh, that has to make the price more stable i guess so what specifically is the reason that attracts you to the binance smart chain Wow, thank you so much for that question. Uh, it's very important for us. Um, we are well aware that there are other platforms we could use, but we intentionally chose um, the Binance Smart Chain for a specific reason. And I'll just um, tell you right away. Um, number one, it is a faster and more reliable for transactions. It's quite faster and more reliable. So. Uh, Secondly, it is heavily centralized, okay? It is heavily centralized, so it's not um, something that is loose. People can just um, um, uh, work on anyhow. No, it is heavily centralized. And lastly, it also has uh, the gas fee on Binance is just so a little fraction compared to others. Others seem to have more gas fee compared to Binance. So, um, it is easier for everyone else to run the uh, it's easier for everyone else to follow us and um, to work with us using the um, binance smart chain so that's um, just some of the reason amongst others why we chose to uh, use the bsc so um that's it that's it okay all right um to add to what you just said man um uh, well bsc among many other things uh, has the ability to bring information into a single report uh, which can save time money and resources. It um, does allow companies to track their performance and service and quality uh, in addition to tracking their financial data. BSC is uh, more reliable and uh, it's more safer. Okay, okay. So uh, one is uh, one question is from the core of my heart and I uh, usually ask to certain uh, communities, admins and the teams that come to me. The question is that the most of the projects look very good at the first sight. The project owners and the team, they, you know, they talk it out like, you know, they are just going to the moon and proving they aren't total. So what exactly, what exactly would you mention that this project is very legitimate? Because, and how do you plan to sail it through? Because I've seen that once the coins launches, the team starts to, you know, uh, back off, back off, back off, and then it dies. So what are the things that will help, you know, uh, assurance you, what assurance you give to my investors, to my, you know, partners and the community uh, from Twitter, Instagram, and obviously uh, the Telegram and the, some of people who have joined today in the VC. So what assurance that you give that you will carry this project along? All right. Um, when it comes to the security of the project, we are very serious about it. We're very meticulous about it. Um, I'll just tell you some of the things that makes this project very legitimate. Um, number one, we have built up a big data dynamic balance system to balance the input and output resource in the techno techonomics. For example, people pay for the D and DB as entry to join and play gamify but about 70 percent of exchange bnb will return to the game pool so there will be a looper between the people and the game pool all players should consider the hero success rate and equipment this can easily increase your uh, your your reward price and it also makes it be more secure um if you see we always have a target to bring in um the best officials, the best professionals to work with us and to ensure that there is no scam, to ensure that there is no um, uh, um, breakage of the trust we already have been able to build with our community. So um, this is truly legitimate. This is trustworthy. And um, we can all moon this together. We are ready to definitely take this to the top. 
So um, I don't know if Bernard has anything else to add to this. Um, well, to uh, assurance of our, our clients. Okay, just just uh, thank you so much, Dave. And uh, just to add to what he said, um, um, we all know that um, high value is placed uh, on you know on things that are scarce, and one of um, those scarce you know commodity in you know in life as we know it is trust. Trust is you know very very scarce and. And we, as you know, the DND metaverse team, we understand this, and uh, and and we decided to to use this to our advantage, so to create that um, trustworthiness um, for investors. So, thank you. Oh, uh, that's good, babe. That's good to know. So of course, I hope that you know you deliver the utmost and the best that you say, because you know you have to make your words honest because you speak honest. So <laughs> this was on the lighter part, but of course, I'm you know wishing you guys success. I've seen your website, you know, a couple of uh, uh, the uh, buttons don't work. Uh, I checked. Uh, Obviously, the Twitter and the Telegram buttons don't work. I hope you fix them soon because uh, uh, that looks a bit, you know, shaky. And uh, what about the contract? Is the contract deployed or it is going to be deployed the last day? And uh, what are the going to be the launch dates? And specifically, considering the market situation, is the date fixed and decided yet? Or there's going to be slight change? Simon, are you there? Are you going to be answering this? Well, uh, are you reading loud and clear? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, could um, could you go over the last question, please? Mate, I was just saying that. Uh, what about the peace sale? Of course, the uh, other dates fixed. Considering the market situation now, as you know, the BNB value is is at the around 400 to 410 but the market volumes have dropped significantly so a good market is you know mandatory for a successful launch of course if not then you have must you must have a very strong community so i was saying that are the pcl dates fixed on 15 and the launch subsequently between the, the next 24 to 48 hours so uh, is it fixed or there's going to be the uh, a slight might change may be expected Okay, um, I guess I'll just um, answer that. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, the pre-sale date has been fixed and we are committed to our words. We have given the date to be 15 and 16 of February, which is the month we are in right now. So it's definitely gonna be that month and everything will remain as, as planned. We stick to the plan and make sure that um, everyone who is waiting for the pre-sale date keep your hopes high. We're definitely going to do run the uh, lunch, the pre-sale on that specific day. So uh, make sure you are tuned, make sure you are attentive. And when it's time, um, you get in and we all move to the top together. So um, everything is fixed. The date remains 15th and 16th of um, February. The pre-sale will be done. So that's it. That's it. Okay, so uh, that's good. That's good to know. And of course, you know, a project only moons if, you know, the community stands strong. If the community sure. is good, if you don't get deeds behind you. So what are your plans for the community engagement? And are you going to add uh, multiple influencers right after you launch? Because the community must, you know, feel safe that they are going to take profit out of it. So what are the measures that will keep your community on the sideline of getting successful? Um, well, um, definitely we are going to get, you know, um, a lot of um, influences, you know, um, 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 influences with, uh, 
with a lot of um, audiences. Um, for instance, uh, in the aspect of you know the game, we are gonna Hello? invite uh, um, some in, some influences. Hello. Yes, okay. yes, reading you, man, reading you. All right, so um, we are gonna invite some um, specifically YouTube influencers to test the game. You know, just to be sure uh, uh, that it is as good as uh, as we say it is. So that's it. Okay, okay. Also, uh, also, I would like question. to. Uh, I would like to add to. What Yes. Hello. Yes, yeah, I go. wanted to just uh, add a little more to what Simon has just said. Um, concerning the community base, we have been working tirelessly towards that. And for now, we have a well-built community with a strong team working tirelessly. We also have the Japanese community, the China community, and Korean too. Um, our white paper is all, always available for people to go look up and get more information about what we're doing so that they can gain and profit more from it. Um, there's much for it in for you in there. I will not also forget to also let you about the Lucky Wool Spin, which grants you the opportunity to gain quick BNB by just tapping uh, what you see on your screen. You just tap on it and uh, you, 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 you already engage in the Lucky Win Spin. And the entry fee is just about 100 DNDB and 1000 DNDB actually, and you're in. You spin the wheel and you are already um, making some good money. Um, so just to let you know that all this um, community, there is no language barrier for the DND metaverse. It's open for all. The Japanese can get in, the China can, Chinese can get in, um, English is also the end, the Korean too. So there is no limitation. We are all open and out for uh, for the best for everyone. So, guys, this is just to let you know we are out for you. Thank you so much. Uh, that's good to that's good to know. And the one more question I add to you uh, to this: that uh, what is going to what are the you know the uh, core people that are behind the project? Are you yourself, your team behind it, or there's someone like uh, some other person that is managing? Because you know some of the contracts are deployed by the renounced around the balance for chain. We are people. So some people are backed by them. So uh, what is in your case are the you know uh, people of the contract developers that are backing you guys, or you are yourself? Specifically, specifically for the launch of contract and the launching of peace tail and followed by launch, are you guys well conversed? Because uh, we see most of the projects you know face issues just to the launch. You know, connecting with dipping sale, and you know, some sort of similar issues happen. So, are you guys well familiar with that? Have you, yeah, will you do successful test nets? Because I, I request you guys and I you guys to do uh, multiple test nets, uh, contract developments, uh, your contract to fullest and use, uh, you know, try all the features that you have stable, then uh, go for a, uh, you know, test net pink sale. And so, this will help you guys. So uh, please answer my question regarding that, uh, that how will you say that your contract will not face any issues specifically during the launch period? Because, you know, I know and everybody knows that maximum contracts do the same. Oh, well, that's um, a very important question there. Um, you know, it takes a lot to actually run um, all of these processes that we do and uh, we are so committed to it because we want the best of the best of the best um looking at our our token we have been audited by the tech audit our professionals have done an extensive analysis to verify every process and we have great assurance about this also we have the pro safety monitor system to curb any malicious activities or spam messages that may pose any threat. Um, we all know for those who are into um, the crypto that there are a lot of guys out there who, who, who always try to um, pose threats to the processes of the 
pre-sale, the processes of the um, launch and all of that. They try to post threat to it. So we are, from experience, have built a very strong security um, network to monitor um, our, our security base. So um, uh, more specifically, whenever we're having such um, important processes like the pre-sale, the launch, we heighten our security to, to, to ensure that these things are kept um, on, the, on the right track and to ensure that there is no um, threat that has been pushed to um, those who are in the community and also um, to our own um, processes and to also, to also our own token. So these are some of the some of the systems we have put down to curb such malicious activities and we are able to from these um, steps we have taken give the assurance to the team give the assurance to the community give the assurance to investors and partners that um, there would be no cases of disruption whenever we're running our our um, our processes so they should kindly make sure they put their trust in these and be ready to um, partner with us to the best. We are we we are re really ready for the best. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, and uh, and just to add a little to what David said, um, it will interest you all um, to know that the devs that um, the developers you know has upgraded uh, and increased the security of our system. You know, um, just to ensure that every sensitive um, data. Uh, is highly encrypted um, with access only to the core developers. So please sit tight and know that you are safe with the ND metaverse. Thank you. Well, uh, that's good to know. That's good to know. Anything else that you would like to add into it? Any special thing that you will uh, say to my community and special words before after that we open the house for the question and answers from the community side? Okay, um, first of all, um, I really like to thank them for staying tuned, for joining, and to appreciate them for uh, being tuned um, all the while since we got started um, through this AMA. Ensure that they're already getting set to. Uh, bags and diamonds so um uh, my name still remains dave and simon is also here with me i don't know if you'd like to say one or two we're ready to uh to take this to the moon definitely the moon is sure and um please keep um stay tuned i don't know if simon likes to say anything uh before we move no. on I'm good. I'm good. I just, um, just you said it all, bro. You know, just um, we thank everyone. You know, everyone who stood by us, uh, and and those who who have faith. You know, in this in the sincerity and potency of this project. So, um, um, thank you all. Thank you. Yeah. Thank so, you guys. Um, yeah. We'll not take um, questions. Well, now the house is open for questions and answers. Anyone from the community side wants to ask anything, then please add up and ask questions from them because, you know, uh, this is a chance to win uh, $300. I personally, you have seen, I have tried to ask maximum questions from the team and I have tried myself to get, you know, uh, this is a forum. We ask from the Path Place community, we try to connect people. I basically, uh, in the far end, I own the Crypto VIP Future uh, uh, group, which I have been renounced on the Manning Smart Chain and ERC20 place. So this is a medium. We try and we connect with the communities and we bring them to you. So now they are here. They are open for you for some questions and answers. So please feel free. Hi. Hi again. <laughs> uh, guys. Yeah, hi again. Uh, first of all, uh, continuing from the community part, I am from Turkey, uh, Turkish community, please consider idea, it uh, would be nice, uh, because the Turkish people are very active uh, in the crypto space. Uh, you know, the before, yeah, before that, we uh, actually we talked before about, you know, the DNDB and BNB choose. 
I see uh, you want uh, players just concentrate on the DND metaverse, uh, not just, uh, you know, the cause uh, uh, volatility uh, and feel, feel themselves stressful. I, I, I would like to ask about one thing. Uh, I see next land opening uh, on uh, Q3 data to the, this year, Q3 this year. Uh, how frequently uh, will you open next lands? Uh, and and short ed uh, is not there is not any in game marketplace you know we see on many uh, projects it, uh, selling buying items why didn't you uh, figure out uh, such such a system thank you hello um, sorry could you um, refresh your question and okay okay uh, the question question part i, I will uh, repeat just you know the next land like I see uh, on the roadmap next land opening on Q3 this year. Uh, how frequently will you open uh, additional lands? Uh, will upon uh, demand or something else? And you know uh, we see many in-game uh, marketplaces uh, in other games uh, selling and uh, uh, buying items because you know we, we uh, people want to make more money. Uh, why yeah. is, isn't there any uh, system? Uh, if I am not wrong. So? All right. Um, I think I'll just. Well, yeah, there you go. The game. Uh, the the more DMB you earn, we give you the chance to um, to progress to next level. You just have to keep on earning more D and DB. Then as you progress, then you go into the next level. That's what they're about. You have to earn right. more. I would also, Bernard, are you done? Yeah, sure. All right. Um, uh, to help you understand more about are gamified you see um there are about six level missions and the rate at which you defeat the boss depends on your total um asr that is your hero um, um, um equipments and the heroes that you choose because we have about um over 20 heroes so um first of all i will just let you know about um the attributes that could help you win more that could help you uh, increase your success rate in, in the game, which will eventually uh, earn you more BNDB. So um, we have the um, HTR, which is short for strength. It gives um, it's more energy for the hero. We have DEX, which is dexterity. It refers to the skill and the ability of the hero in battle. We have um, CON. This represents the constitution of the game rules and how it follows the rules. We have WIS which was um, wisdom or how witty that particular hero is. We also have um, intelligence, which shows fast thinking. So um, the idea is for you to um, use the hero and, and for you to understand which one is going, uh, which one increases your ASR, okay? So um, if you have a high ASR, you're gonna have, um, you're gonna win more. You're gonna have to defeat the boss and having all of these qualities, all of these attributes, more of it increases the possibility of you defeating the boss in the gamify. And when you're able to do that, you find out that you're winning more. Be you're, you're winning more. You're getting more. So um, just get to understand more of the details are contained in the uh, white paper. It'll help you see how to play in the gamify and also to to to, to win more. So. Um, you, you can go check it up anytime just for more information thank you guys thank you for answers yeah well uh any questions from other other people Any more questions, please? Anyone with more questions? Uh, quickly want to answer them before moving to any other thing. Um, I want to add this feel... before. Yeah. I want to add this. Um, if you check down there, you see the invite link. You can share. So pull in more of your people, your friends who would uh, actually want to be um, interested in this. So uh, feel free to, to raise the bar and you're gonna see the share invite link. You just tap it and get your friends uh, also connected to what's going on here. I'm sure they don't wanna miss it. So um, I just got to say that, thank you. So 
So any more questions, please? Well, uh, uh, what is the, you know, why is the name DND? What is the, you know, the a- acronym for it or how do you feel? Okay, Dungeon. Uh, Simon, please Dungeon. help us with the answer. Okay, okay. Um, it's short for Dungeon and Dragons. Okay, oh, cool, cool. Dungeon and Dragons. Okay, okay. What are yeah, the plans here? Are there going to be some NFTs right here? Other than the game fire network, are there going to be the NFTs? Sorry, can you repeat that? I'm saying other than the game fire networks, are there going to be some NFTs of dungeons and uh, you know? Yeah, so we we um, we are actually looking quite well into the NFTs, so it's going to come sooner or later. <laughs> So, um, are there any more questions, please? Uh, someone is making a DM to me, and he is saying that uh, please ask for me a question. And uh, yeah, yes, he is saying that uh, this project also tried to launch a long time back, but they didn't launch so what was the reason yes i received okay. the dm from one of the person so he said that uh i don't know this way uh yes please elaborate okay um i think i get clearly that question i remember that occurrence actually happening it was uh we already posted a a, a flyer a poster in the group to let everyone know what really happened but for the purpose of um, this person asking again, I will reiterate, I will repeat those, uh, the reason for such occurrences. Firstly, um, when it was launched, everything was going well until there were some ha- some community members who who um, tried to attack the project, who tried to um, pose threats to the project. Um, so we actually, um, in order to secure and to ensure that no one is at loss, especially for the safety of the of the token and also the community members. We actually put, uh, 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 post the project at that time in order to prevent much more damage. So that was the reason why um, that was uh, 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 stopped for the moment. And thereafter, uh, it was properly worked on, everything fixed to ensure that search does not repeat itself again. So um, there is more assurance right now. Um, for that person who asked that question, thank you for asking that question. Um, everything is put on track and we are all moving um, higher right now. So uh, I hope that answers your question. Um, feel free yeah. to ask more questions. Yeah, and, uh, uh, and just to add to what um, Dave said, um, I'd really like to um, to thank um, everyone who stood by us uh, and still had faith in the um, sincerity and potency of this project. Uh, it's no doubt that uh, that um, some of us are aware of the incident that happened at the pre but um, just to tighten loose ends, we deeply apologize for the uh, for the event. And uh, and one of the purposes of this. Uh, AMA is to assure the entire the and the metaverse community and future investors uh, that we are legit, that we are here to stay, no matter the odds. We are here to give you guys the best. Thank you. Okay, so uh, we have another question. Uh, you know, a lot of people are you know were scamming in the group and you know were sharing fake links so i just muted the comments for some moment so on the previous post so we had a couple of comments there so uh, going over the next question from abu shahab he is saying that how can users stay updated with this project are there channels including local companies where european can have, oh, mate, they have a dd yeah they are having lots of international communities. Just head over to my post and look over it. They have the TG links and they have website as well. They have email. You can connect with them. And of course, you can connect with me and I can connect with them as well. 
So I act as a medium for you and introduce our limited daily PVE game challenge. He's saying that uh, please have some game challenges and uh, lottery and stuff like that to increase the community engagement. So of course uh, they'll have it. Okay, coming over to the next questions. How many tokens will be locked by the team? If you had read the white paper, we could know about that 80% holdings of the team will be locked for at least six months. Okay, so what do you say about this, mate? Hello, are you guys listening? Yes, yes, yes. Hello. You, you just asked um, um, about the... Okay, so I have person. answered one of the questions. The guy is saying that how many tokens will be locked by the team? If you had read the white paper, we could know that about 80% of the holdings of the team will be locked for at least six months. So what do you guys say on it? Yes, that is um, actually correct. 80% of the holdings will actually be locked. And if you check the white paper, you'll see more details about that. We have a short cap at... Uh, 300 BNB and our hard cap at 600 BNB. So uh, our, we, we launch, we normally launch our pre-sale on the pancake. So those are places you can engage. I, I think previously you also talked about a question from a guy who asked uh, for more um, more activities to make the, to for the community members to engage in. And definitely there are a lot of activities that will be coming up soon you just have to stay uh, tuned so that you don't miss out when it comes. Uh, uh, but for the meantime, we still have the, the lucky will spin, which you can engage in, interact with our websites, engage in the gamify. Or if you don't really understand how it works, go to the white, to the white paper, you get more information, a step by step guide. And we also have um, some videos on YouTube. So um, you can watch and master the game. Uh, you can be the master in the DND metaverse if you like and uh, win a lot more. So, uh, much activities will be coming um, as time goes on. Just stay tuned. Thank you so much for asking that question. Yeah. Lastly, also, I'll add that you can invite your friends. There is the PEV where you could play with your friends. Uh, instead of playing against the bus, you play with your friends and you, you you can also win from that so there's a lot of platform for the community to, the community to engage in and uh, more also will be coming in will be coming up as time goes on so just stay tuned uh, make sure you don't miss out thank you So I guess um, um, we'll take one more question before we Hello. wrap up. Hello. 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 They are saying that, of course, I don't know that most of the people. I have one the more question. Group. Most of the people are shifted to the chat group and they are you know, doing the same questions there, but they were told to go to the main channel and of course join the VC and ask it. So I have another question from Lazade Crypto. He's saying that are you guys planning to promote your project in countries and regions all around the world? Are you having some influencers lined up? So he's specifically talking about the countries where English is not good, uh, China, Arab, Korean, Japanese and Brazil because they have good cryptocurrency. Uh, you know, uh, holders and people interested there. So yeah, the basic yeah. question is saying is that do you have some influences around the world other than the you know the native English speakers? As um quite definitely we have plans towards um getting uh more influences who are not just you know native English speakers just to um, ensure that um, that DND metaverse is well understood amongst you know various um, races and regions of the world. So yes, yes, we have a set plan towards that. 
also um, to add to that, thank you, Simon. We have the so many communities right now. Recently, the Korean community was launched and it's fast growing. So um, we are not limited by um, we're not limited by languages. We're not limited. We are a very global minded um, uh, um, team. And we assure you that whatever um, region you are in the world, things are easy here for you to engage. You would not be um, feeling bad that, oh, I don't speak English or I don't speak Chinese. No, no, no. Whatever you, whatever language you speak, we have, um, we have communities for you to, to, to join. So just make sure you're part of what's happening and uh, you would not have any difficulties. So um, that's it. So uh, again, Freeman is asking about the KYC and audit. All right, um, I think we've answered that before, but for the purpose of this person asking now. You know, the, the, this, that's, that's the main reason I like, tell people to, you know, join the CG from the beginning. And of course, so this, you know, this FUD and this, you know, KSMS. So please, people, this is requested that please try to join at the beginning so that you could, you know, grasp maximum information. So this is the basic reason. So the team has already answered it, but uh, can you please elaborate it once more? Okay, one more time, I'll go over that particular answer for this person. Saying about the KYC and audit. Yeah, um, the KYC on the odds, we are audited by the by the tech audit and the KYC. Um, we ensure that every aspect of it is vetted, every aspect of it is uh, checked and uh, to, to make sure that there is no threat post to our, our token, to the processes that we carry out. So um, uh, that's, uh, that's just a, a brief on the KYC and the tech audit. So um, we assure you that you, you're not gonna have any challenges in that regard concerning security. We are very meticulous about it. We're very, we take security very seriously. And we have professionals also who are working with us ensuring that every codings, every um, aspect of the uh, of the uh, logarithms are, uh, are are mastered and controlled from our, our central um, uh, point. So the KYC and the audits are all intact. So um, I, I hope that answers your question. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, are we moving on? Um, I think we'll take one more question before we wrap uh, this up. Yeah, um, one more question, please. One last question. The voice chat is open for the last question from the team, from the D&D Metaverse. So guys, please speak up. And uh, OK, so we have one more question. He's saying that. The, what are the anti-veil measures that your contract will take and the maximum wallet number that certain number can hold the token? Sorry, can you A repeat that? maximum amount of tokens that will be uh, uh, holded by the team. Uh, and of course, just precisely go over the token distribution, the how you have decided the token distribution, what is going to be the unlocked wallet percentage, is there going to be team vesting or not, is there going to be the PCA vested or not, and similar sort of questions. After that, we wind it up and good luck to you guys. Yeah. So um, I guess that is all. All right. Um, concerning that, um, we actually did the, the white list, which was initially um, scheduled for a maximum of 500 members. But we noticed the high enthusiasm in a lot of members who intended to get into the whitelist, but we are really and uh, but we're really worried about how competitive and difficult it would be to get in the whitelist seat and buy. Therefore, we decided to create the tire at zero, and those who intend to purchase hundred percent without the bot, we also made tire the competitive seats of about six hundred to eight hundred. Hopefully, this will hopefully this will improve uh, increase your chances of getting in. In, in the whitelist of being able to invest. So uh, this is just a brief for you. 
and also we have um, seventy percent exchange of the BNB returning to the game pool when we play. So uh, you 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 have lots of benefits from the gamify, and also uh, it's 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 very wide for everyone. So uh, over o over about seventy percent exchange for the BNB going to the reward pool. That's a lot. So uh, um, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, so just winding it up, thank you so much, the team, you know, for coming here and, you know, creating things, clarify things for, for the community. Of course, we as the community, we uh, believe in, you know, the legitimate projects. The projects, of course, we give high priority projects that got KYC and audit. And of course, uh, wishing you guys success all the way around your journey. You know, this is, you know, a good step. Just, just I'm saying this thing that please try to make your name. Please try to make your name climb the leaderboard so that people have so much trust in you guys that they are able, you know, people start to jump in with thousands of dollars. So this yes. is the basic trust. And, you know, if we find we are always on the lookout of finding such people. So if we find people with such potential, we are here to support you guys. We are here to support we you guys. We will, we we will push you guys. We will push you guys. So we will, of so course, we will always support always the support groups, the, groups uh, the community admins, the community admins, the admins teams, teams, who are hardworking. Hard 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 so, so, unless you're hardworking, hard we will always support, will you, always guys. support you guys. And, you know, and, you know and just and just push just the team, push just the take team. your just investors take along for a very long time. Long they time. don't feel that, that no, they are being directed or the project is losing high. Yeah. Yeah. You have to make your name. Come in, come in, come in, climb the leaderboard and best of luck from our side and from the team. And thank you today for coming. And thank you again for the Hamilton Base community. I will be dropping will in the white list and the winners shortly. shortly. So, uh, congratulations, congratulations to all those who have already, you know, uh, separated, separated the, uh, the uh, ch ch telegram TV names. So, so, all those who all ask those the questions will have the highest priority. We are going to are divide the white. So, uh, so, thank you so much uh, again. So much and again. hope to see you hope soon. See you soon. And of course, and after the pre sale happens. So we will, uh, we will again, uh, like, again host like you guys, if you, guys, you, guys, wish. If you wish. And uh, best, of best, of best, of best of luck for the project. Best of luck for the project. Thanks a lot, Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Nate. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. We would love to be back again. Uh, we hope that this is uh, this has been an exciting and fun-filled experience for everyone out there. And I hope that your major questions were answered. Uh, more, more, uh, more updates will be dropping soon. We also have much information in our whitelist. Go check up our pin post and and the DND Metaverse Glo Global Group. Um, you'd find much uh, to interact with um, out there. Check the pin post. You'll see much information for your own consumption. Um, thank you so much. Thank you. We really appreciate you for everything. Thanks for your support. We know you guys believe in this and. Uh, we are all mooning soon, this is for sure. So uh, yeah. thank you yeah, so yeah. much and really yeah. appreciate it. Thank you, Simon. Thank you, everyone. Yep. Bye. Bye. Thank you, guys. Thank and you guys. I'm extremely, yeah. I'm extremely sorry for the time delays. I was actually very really busy. And thank you for accommodating with that. All right. Bye. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Bye. Best of luck, best God of luck, speed, God and speed, wish you and best, of luck, best of luck and wish you moon soon. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot.